Well, welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm taking a brief look at the new December beta release of Apricity OS. Uh, it's Arch based. Um, it's still in beta. I checked back. It was looks like it was in beta since September. They've released a September beta, October, November, December beta. Um, so my, I guess my question to Apricity is when do you think you're going to be out of beta and into a final release? Um, now I have had a few issues. Um, I went to change the number of desktops in the settings. Uh, so let's see. Uh, I did a check on the uh, desktops, number of desktops, and I was not able to change it without the system locking up on me. So, not sure what that's about, but um, I tried installing it on my downstairs computer with Broadcom, and when I went to change the uh, network that I was running on, I happened to have Voco Screen open and it locked up to the point where I had to do a hard reboot and in the process I lost my Broadcom drivers I had to reinstall. <clears throat> so there are a few issues with um, Apricity OS but I think it's probably due to the fact that they don't have a whole lot of users yet and I, I, I'm assuming it's taking a longer time to get feedback on some of the issues. And so, if you, now I would not use this as your daily operating system. This is in beta and it is prone to problems. So, uh, I, I, I would, if you're going to install it, just install it as a secondary operating system and then pass along any feedback on bugs to the Apricity developers. Go onto their website and uh, provide that information. Now, in my opinion, there's always room for another Arch-based distribution. Uh, I do like some of the things that they're doing with uh, Apricity. Uh, but it is a little, still a little bit too buggy. Uh, so let's take a quick look at the software that comes packaged. Now you've got Adobe Flash Player, uh, Cheese, FileZilla, uh, let's see, Dis, Dis Usage Analyzer, Gedit for text editing, uh, We've got GIMP, LibreOffice, ICE, and it comes with the option to add SSBs through Chromium, Chrome, and Firefox, which is good. Uh, as I said, LibreOffice, Photos, Play on Linux is installed. Um, of course, printing all the usual rhythm box, screenshot, Simple backup. I installed SM Player. Steam is installed, but I'm not sure if it's usable at this point because there's a note on the Apricity website that says no 32 bit. So usually Steam requires 32 bit. Um, and let's see, there's a sync thing, which is an, it's a program that you can use to sync up your sync up your uh, files with other devices. I'm assuming it works with tablets and and phones and things like that. I installed Voco Screen, and let's take a look at Tweak Tool. Now, here's where I ran into a problem on workspaces. When I tried to change this from four to three to two to one, it froze the system and I had to reboot. Uh, for appearance, of course, you've got the Apricity theme, but it looks like you can add other themes to it. It does run on the GNOME desktop. And let's see. Um, 
don't need mounted volumes. Uh, let's see, extensions. It's got a lot of the usual GNOME extensions, which is really nice. So it is very configurable. Startup applications. On the top bar, you can show the application menu. Right now, it's got activities. And you can show the date on the clock uh, for Windows. It's got minimize, maximize, so you're all set there, and you can disable those if you like. And then workspaces. So it looks like it has everything you need, and quite frankly, I think it has a lot of potential but there are too many bugs right now for me to use this on a daily basis, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it. And uh, if, uh, if any of the Apricity developers happen to see this video, um, if you could drop a comment into the uh, comments for the video and just let us know when you think it might be coming off beta. Um, and also let us know if you're still looking for feedback on your, on your uh, any bugs that we happen to spot, uh, we'll be happy to help you out there. So as I said, there's always room for another Arch-based distribution. This one looks very nice, um, but again, it's a little bit buggy. Uh, I expected that, it, it is a beta, and guys, if you wanna give it a shot, uh, I think you'll, uh, in the long run, we'll all benefit from having an Arch-based, another Arch-based distribution to go along with some of the ones that you guys know that I'm fond of. So that's it for this uh, video, guys. It's a Pricity OS. Uh, it's based on GNOME. It looks very nice. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.